next time. Woo. Yo, 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 yo. Loud enough, loud enough, loud yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh uh. music. Man, I woke up this morning sitting back. Feeling good, wifey hit me with that good, good Before she walked up out the door Kissed me on my cheek and told me food was on the stove Damn, is it my lucky day? Did the stars align the right way? Cause I'm feeling real good in my belly on full ATM It's been a long time, I shouldn't have left you What's going on guys? It's Dwayne, man Hey look, I'm sorry about the video, the lack thereof of videos. It's not a rebranding or anything like that. It's just kind of been having some things going on. There are some big things coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed the movie that we put out, Night Gone Wrong. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was kind of, it was really fun making. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna link it in here so you guys can go see it. I wanted to kind of do like a, um, a continuation of that later on in the future. If you hear something going on over here, it is my guinea pig. Yeah, she over here making a lot of noise. She ain't said nothing all day. As soon as I come over here to do a video, here she come with this. But anyway, guys, today is all about these KRK speakers. So if you're an engineer or you listen to music or you know you video edit and you need great quality sound, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to go out and buy you some good pair of speakers. Now, I just bought this KRK speaker right here. This is the new one and this is the older one. Older one I've had for a long time. The reason why, Brownie, She stopped because I called her name and she looked up. Ronnie was making way too much noise, so I just went and got her. So I'm gonna move all these cords and stuff out of the way because she likes to chew on stuff. But if you're in video editing and things of that nature, guess what you're gonna go do? You're gonna go out and buy you a good pair of speakers. The best speakers I have ever had were these KRKs right here. This this one right here I've had since my kid, since my oldest son was like maybe six. He's like 15 now. The other one died. That's the reason why I had to go get this bad boy. Now, granted, these are probably about the same price still to this day. Each one of these are gonna cost you $149. There are a few different changes on here, but the quality of them, the sound quality is still pretty good. This KRK speaker right here, the, the biggest change on this KRK speaker is the, the LED in the back. You know, you can go in here, you can change your, your volume, you can go in here and change your bass and how much treble you want, mids, lows, highs, all of that type of stuff. And there's also an application on your phone that you should be able to download. And I will show you that guys, but you should be able to download and basically use that as a way to get your speakers to the point where they sound really good in your home setup or in your setup period, whatever. Now, granted, I have already kind of gotten myself used to what I like and the sound that I like. So in the back of this one, all I did was just copy. These are more manual, you know, dials on here or whatnot. And this one right here is more digital. You can't, it's not a touch screen, but it is still a dial, right? You can actually see what's going on here, hear it in real time and things of that nature. And right here is more physical. Now I do like physical buttons. That's why I have a mixing board and things of that nature. I don't really like mixers on my on my on my computer screen, even though you know it, it is helpful and most of the young kids do like it. But for me, I don't really care for it too much. So I, I like physical keys and things of that nature. Well, so guys, these speakers, in my opinion, are, are the top of the standard. I mean, they're they're top of the line speakers when it comes to any kind of studio speakers at all. Like th this is what you're gonna get. The design on them are fairly the same. There are a few differences, of course, right here. This part right here is a lot more yellow than this part then up here. This one's like a kind of a soft mesh type. And this one's not down here at the bottom like I showed you in the preview screen. You can see that it says Rocket down here. It doesn't have that over here. So there's a few physical differences. Also, I did not know this, but as I was looking up more information about these other newer ones, there is a guard on here. So you don't have anybody that'll go in like my kids did on this one right here and go in and stop looking me and go in and um, push that part in. Go in and push stuff in like like yo like like they bought it or something. You know they were out a lot younger then when that happened. But um, you have you can go out and buy something that will cover that up. I'll, I'll also link that in the description, guys. To be honest with you, there are no differences as far as sound quality in my opinion with these speakers. So if you've already had the Rocket speakers before and 
and and or the K you know the KRK Rocket speakers before and you were happy with them trust and believe you're going to be happy with these right here because it's a brand it's a, it's a different version i'm sure you're going to play around with the back of the led you're going to sit and connect the exact same way that you would connect your old one so if you have some xlr uh, cables and things of that nature the female male cables and stuff like it will go right back into your preamp so you know if, if the way that you're i mean it's the same exact thing so guys listen I don't really have much to say about the speaker except for that it's the same, you know what I'm saying? So guys, it's Dwayne. I, I have been lacking, I promise you. I'm, I'm trying to get back on. I'm going to use the kids a little bit more. Uh, we got some LeBron shoes. We got some Kyrie Irving shoes. You know what I'm saying? We got some more things going on. I got some more movies for you. If you're in the need of some studio speakers, I'm always going to recommend these. Just like if you're in need of a studio preamp, then I would tell you always go to M Audio. You know what I'm saying? They're just quality, 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 quality of quantity man you know what i'm saying there's no point in going out spending bukus of money on something and it's not even good or going out spending cheaply on something and then the next year you gotta go out and buy it again so guys like i said i've had this one since my son was six so yeah and i, I should you know be able to put this in the, in the studio when we uh when we move and, and be happy like i will go ahead and upgrade you know this one very soon and and probably just keep this one as a third speaker. The bigger the room get, I may want a speaker over here, you know, just for sound quality and stuff like that, or just to hear it a little differently, you know, from different areas of the room. You gotta keep that in mind too. You got tweeters and, and, and subs and stuff like that, where the sub would give you more bass. If you're a bass heavy uh, engineer, or you have a bass heavy artist that you're engineering, you're gonna wanna hear what those lows sound like in your um in your home studio so that you would know what it sounds like in the car also because i remember back in the day man the only way we'd have to figure that out would be from mixing the song the best way we could go out to the car and crank that joint up so now is we don't have to do that no more guys we don't have to do that we got we got good quality stuff now man so listen it's Dwayne, man and um you guys have a good one man Peace.